Hi team, another short little tip here. This one has to do with focus. Um, one of the things that we run into with coaching athletes is that athletes want to achieve on a lot of different levels all the time. Um, and maintaining all your different facets of your climbing is, is, is possible, um, but only after you've developed them. And what, what I mean by that is you need to build strength and you need to build power and you need to build endurance. And those are best built independently. Um, and then once you've built those to a certain level, you can maintain them. And so what I wanted to talk about today is, is thinking about focus. And if you can take your four week phase that you're training in and build a little um, graphic for yourself, whether it's a target or um, a pyramid, it doesn't really matter. But your number one priority needs to be in the center. And then of course, number two and number three. What that means then is the number one priority is always done first in a session. Um, it's always done when you're fresh, like after a rest day. And it's the metric that you're gonna do, you're going to measure the success of the training program by. Um, if you have a whole bunch of priorities, it's the same as not having any priorities. And so by saying this month, I'm gonna work on finger strength and I can do a little bit of endurance, I can do a little bit of weight training, that's okay, but finger strength is the key. Um, you've gotta think about that every single training phase, there needs to be one thing that you're measuring and one thing that you're trying to manage. And if you can focus on those things, switch them month to month to month, you're gonna start making progress. If you're focusing on a whole bunch of different things, you're gonna end up in the same place you are right now. I hope this helps.